The Automatic Deed Reader is a tool that can automatically draw a parcel from the text of a deed description. The Deed Reader utility is included in all of our mapping programs. In this video, I'm using our subdivide software, but the routine works the same regardless of which program you're using it with. Note that this utility is designed to work with descriptions where line work is described by bearing and distance. Descriptions based on a sectional breakdown cannot be processed here. To start the deed reader, click the Tools menu and then Draw a Deed from Text. Here you can load the deed as a text file or copy and paste it from your word processor. So here I have a sample deed in Word. I'm going to copy the text to the clipboard. And now in Deed Reader, I'll click the Paste option to paste it into the routine. The routine reads the text and decodes it into separate sections for each deed call. If there are any issues, they will be marked with either an asterisk, which means that there may be some ambiguous data present, or a question mark, meaning that it does not understand that section of text at all. You can then double click a line to review the text and make any changes. Down here, you can save the changes in case you need to come back and make further edits. Everything looks pretty good with this deed, so I'll click OK to plot it out. As a reminder, the program asks if I want to save the text, and in this case I don't. And then it displays a reminder to be sure to thoroughly check the results. I'll click OK, and there's the deed plot. The line work is drawn using what we call a tracked object which is a collection of lines and arcs that are all connected, much like a polyline in AutoCAD. Here we have the lines of commencement, and here we have the lines of the actual parcel. The tick marks that you see here can be turned on and off in the settings menu, and they're available to help you see exactly where the endpoints of the lines are. The text size is a function of the plot scale, which is right here. At this point, we can check the closure of the parcel by selecting it and then clicking the Edit Properties button on the toolbar. Now click the Closure Report button and we have a complete and thorough inverse of the entire parcel. The closure information is at the bottom of the report and in this example, it's nearly perfect. Now let's do another one. First, I'm gonna start a new drawing and now I will copy and paste this description. This time we have some issues to address. Again, an asterisk means that there's ambiguous data. So let's double click that first line and take a look. Here we can review the text for this leg. And at the bottom, we can read information about the issue that the routine's having. In this case, it thinks that this is a text entry right there, but it found a cardinal direction in it, so it wants to make sure. The issue is in the second paragraph where it says, located on the east half of section 15. If we delete the word east, then it's happy. Actually, we can delete everything down to the word commencing as none of that is actually required to draw the map. We do need to leave the actual commencing word there though. Here we have an item that the program can't figure out at all. Actually, this line looks pretty good, but the problem is that the bearing is formatted incorrectly. It has no degree symbol. I can put one in by clicking this link here and I also need to remove the space after it so that it matches the minutes and seconds. And that took care of that one. Here we have another asterisk. And this time it says it seems to think that there's more than one direction for this leg. So here we have a bearing. But over here we have the word west, as in West 100th Avenue. Now, if we leave this alone, the program will still process it, but it will have to make an assumption. And in this case, it will correctly assume that the bearing is the correct direction and it'll ignore the word west. But to be on the safe side, let's just delete it altogether. 
Now, one more thing about this leg is that it has the word northerly in it. In this case, the program determined that this direction was in reference to the right of way and correctly ignored it. Street names, however, such as West 100th Avenue or North State Street are not filtered as there are just too many possible combinations of street names. Now let's scroll down and check for any other issues. And here we have another one. And again, it's a street name that's causing the issue. So let's delete it. And here's a tip. If you're editing a line and you're not sure what the issue is, just delete everything except the bearing and the distance. But be sure to leave the word feet. Now let's plot it. And there it is. Let's do one more. First, I'll copy and paste the description text. And then start the deed reader. And once again, we have a few issues to review. The first one is the presence of a cardinal direction. Now there's a lot of stuff in here, but our plot actually starts with the commencing call right here. So rather than sift through all this stuff above, I'm just going to delete everything above and see if that clears up the problem. And it did. Next, we have an unknown call, so let's look at that. This one is fairly subtle. I'll scroll down here to see what the program actually found in this call. And we see that it found a bearing, but it never picked up the distance. So let's get rid of all this other clutter so we can better see what's wrong here. Very important, though, we must not delete the phrase point of beginning right there because this tells the program exactly where the actual parcel begins. But we can delete the rest of it up to the distance. Now do you see the issue? The distance does not have any units specified. The rest of this deed is in feet, so I imagine this should be in feet as well. So I'll just type it in. And now it's OK. Here's another subtle one. This one is a curve, and curves can be a little more challenging because they contain so much more information. The issue here is on the last line where it says, point located 150 feet left of station and so on. It sees 150 feet as an extra distance entry that it does not know what to do with. So let's just remove that entire last line. And now let's take a look at this last issue. And again, we have a extra distance entry here, so we'll get rid of that. And now let's see what it looks like. And there it is. So that's a look at the automatic deed reader, a powerful utility that can save you a lot of time.